we've been able for the first time to pinpoint a, a likely source of the high energy neutrinos and the high energy cosmic rays that fill the universe. Uh, the object uh, is a blazar, which is a kind of uh, galaxy with a, a massive black hole at the center that's, that's busy devouring uh, matter and sending out jets of, of particles along its axis. Instead of light, we're using neutrinos, these, which are the lightest particles of matter that are known. And they're these sort of ghostly particles that almost never interact with matter. Once they're created, they fly off in the universe. We're lucky that they interact a little bit, otherwise we wouldn't have anything to detect at all. And what happened on September 22nd, 2017, was we sent out a particularly high energy uh, alert event um, that was very well reconstructed. And it was discovered shortly afterwards by the, the Fermi uh, gamma ray uh, satellite that there, it was exactly coincident with the location of uh, an energetic blazar while it was in a period of, of flaring and, and gamma rays and, and had been for some time. And this is, some, this is a very unlikely coincidence. So this really set in motion the idea that, that we had for the first time a, a strong connection between uh, a high energy astrophysical neutrino and a particular kind of, of object that could be the source of it, and, and that's a blazar. After we had this connection between uh, the high energy alert event and a blazar, uh, we wanted to go back and look and see if we had evidence of neutrinos coming from uh, this object before. And IceCube's been monitoring the neutrino sky for, for more than nine years. And so we can go back and look in the data. And what we found is that uh, in a period of time, over a few months in 2014, uh, there was a, an excess, a, a significant excess in neutrinos coming from exactly this uh, direction. You want to know what's, what kinds of things the universe can do uh, and why these things are there. Um, and these are the kinds of um, discoveries about fundamental physics, these have been the drivers of all technological advance. Uh, it seems like it's, you know, something that's several billion light years away is not very relevant to us, but actually we can learn things that, that are uh, eventually proved to be highly relevant.